it's probably also worth me mentioning off the back that the term Prime Minister wasn't used until the 20th century. For ease, I'll be calling them this the whole way through, but most earlier ones were called the First Lord of the Treasury, uh, the ones in charge, or the First or Prime Minister of the government, and they held multiple roles, carrying out policy that pleased the monarch and also managing the budget, keeping enough allies in the parliament to stay in power, you know, and uh, generally keeping grace with the monarch. There's not really an all-encompassing job title for that, but we'll go through that later down the line. Aside from the biographies, I'll be hosting guests at the end of each prime minister to discuss with them uh, and have a conversation about whether their premiership was a success or a failure, or even a third way. I'm also going to host a segment every few slots called This House Believes. This will have myself standing on a certain viewpoint, such as trade unions, the role of the monarchy, the welfare state, to list a few, and have a guest come in and debate that with me. I'll also tuck in some bonus episodes on certain people or events of the time, which maybe aren't directly related, but I've really enjoyed researching as part of this podcast. What I've decided I want to do quite early on is that of John Locke, who was really important for his works on the role of the monarch and the two treaties uh, in the late 1600s. We'll also see appearances from the likes of William Wilberforce, Erie Neve and Aaron Bevan, amongst many others. I'm trying to walk a fine line between those of you listening who are avid, vociferous politicos and those of you who think you can really get into it but don't really know much about the subject. All I can ask is get in touch and let me know how listening is for you. This is my first podcast. I really would love to have some feedback from those of you who are listening. And this is also essentially a side project and a a hobby for me. Uh, I I love learning new things, especially of a political capacity. And I've run out of people who won't jump out of a window when I start talking about the Treaty of Vienna or the Suez Crisis. So I'm reaching further. I have a full-time job that I love, and for that reason, I apologise in advance. There may be delays in episodes when life gets in the way. Take this as a blanket apology in advance. Well, that's it. Introduction over. Tune in for the next episode where we'll be talking about the likelihood of you, yes you, becoming Prime Minister. If you love statistics, then strap yourself in because this episode is going to rock your world. I just wanted to mention how you can get in touch with me if you feel so inclined. Uh, I really want to hear feedback, so please get in touch on Facebook. Just search The Number 10 Podcast or Twitter where it's at No10Post, that's N-O-1-0-P-O, or email uh, chris at No10Po, uh, N-O-1-0-P-O.com. And you can also visit the website at www.no10po, no 10 po Dot com uh, for information and blogs which I do alongside the episodes. If you enjoyed, please uh, follow or subscribe on whatever platform you're listening to. Uh, and if you feel really kind, you know, please head to iTunes and leave me a review. Um, it's the best way of uh, you know spreading this podcast uh, as far as possible. But to me, the best thing you can do, and I'm old-fashioned like that, is to tell someone else about this podcast. Send a link to a friend. I'd love to share this with as many people as possible, so if you can help, thank you. Till then, I hope you've enjoyed and are as excited as I am for what's to come. Thanks for listening to the Number 10 Podcast. See you next time. (laughs) 